With ever increasing complexity in business, project and change management is become increasingly difficult for business leaders. Kaya, cut over, you've created a platform that you've coined the Workplace Orchestration and Observability Platform. What are the components of this and how does it help in business? We felt that the existing solutions in this space were really, I would call it two-dimensional. It was often about creating a, a cartoon or a picture of a status of where change and project management was, rather than being like up to date by the millisecond of what's going on, which is what we all wanted to work. I, I, I'd call it a, it's a complex adap adaptive system. You set out to go and do something, and yes, yeah, sure, you can say it's steps one to whatever, six, 600. Uh, that will change, <laughs> right? Uh, the moment you start that thing. And and you'll need the, the feedback loop to keep uh, updating what you will need to do to complete and achieve that goal. Now, previous systems would try and sort of set that thing out, but there would be no effective automated feedback loop to sort of say what you'd want to go and do next. So you rely on human input to provide a feedback loop and you, there was no automation. And, and I think the, one of the worst parts was you'd often have to sort of stop the people doing the work to ask them how they were doing to get to the next step and all that kind of really frustrating stuff. And we found that really came to a cusp in technical changes in large organizations, which was an area we wanted to sort of train and build the application first. Well, one of the things that you talk about is not leaving any project details behind, in addition to catching mistakes, but what do you mean by that? It's about having the, the right directed graph of human and machine activities to, to go and get, get the thing done. Uh, and it's, it's very easy to kind of get things out a step or, or, uh, or, or uh, the machine job comes back and it says something doesn't quite work and bring the human in the, an appropriate time. And there is an ability to do that without kind of having that in, in what we built in Cutover, which was that effective dynamic automated runbook. So what's a good example of an enterprise customer today and how much have you improved productivity, reduced costs, improved employee engagement and satisfaction, I'm sure, as well? How, how have you measured all of this? Has mainly been in, in huge banks and financial services, uh, where with these banks we, we'd, we'd help them do things like uh, every CEO has got a strategy, and that strategy, 85, 90%, is delivered through technical change. So you, you, you're delivering the apps better, the, the text better, the, and, and to increase the, the, the customer satisfaction with, with your products. And, and to make that really be delivered fast at pace, that what you don't want to happen is to take down the IT estate or the current app, uh, and then clients hate you, your reputation goes down. But you know that 90% of the cause of any of those outages is making a change. So you've got to make that change at pace fast in the right way. And, and so we help, we help these large organizations do that. And the second use case would be, if something does happen, it takes you down, the fast path to green, we help recover really quickly. And the third would be uh, enabling their, their transformation. And typical flavor uh, currently is uh, moving to the cloud and to do that at pace as well. Well, there's no doubt that IT executives are struggling with so many new elements in coming into the mix with all the mobile applications as well. So you're providing a high level view of all of it. Do you drill down as well, or are you maintaining just a high macro view of the organization overall? We, we want to make sure that we're not trying to golden source things that are already golden source for data sure. sets elsewhere in the organization. Yeah. So we'll pool them and, and make them accessible at a nice system of engagement layer uh, within Cutover. So you can take a look at them, you make decisions on, on the basis of them, you can do work in it. We're not just trying to provide a flat file report. Uh, and then you, you can take action, you can slice and dice your view of apps, when they're going to go uh, migrate, whenever. Uh, you can bring in uh, data from uh, DevOps planning tools, Jira, others, to understand what Sprint's going to deliver, what, what, what and when. Uh, we can take monitoring inputs to say, well, oh, this microservice is not, not looking so great. Let's kick off this cut of a runbook to make sure uh, we'll spin up an, another instance to make sure it doesn't go down and we can even before an incident may occur. And that's sort of the inputs. And then the outputs from Cutover would be, we can kick off technical orchestration tools. We'll be uh, firing off onto communication platforms because comms is absolutely king in this. Uh, so so that, that orchestration, that, that uh, sort of ballet at pace.